we're leaving you. Squid, New Legends. We love you. Yeah, no, we'll see. I'll see him in, I guess, New Zealand now, right? We're gonna bully him into coming to America. <laughs> We love you, right dude. Now. Thank you for everything this week. I'm so I'm super glad we got to meet you. Thanks. Appreciate it. It was uh, it was fun. You're gonna be fucking bored without us for two weeks. I am. I'm here for two weeks teaching people how to do donuts. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, hopefully, I'll see you in like two months. to Tokyo we are making a pit stop I don't know if I put this in the video before but Tyler my new friend who I met from California is motorcycle kid who came up and spent a few days with us at Ebisu recommended this shop that makes these rad old-school Harley chopper style helmets so we're gonna stop and see if we can pick some up because they look really cool they're handmade and they're Japanese so it's even cooler hopefully they'll have a size that fits me uh, and I'll show you guys the shop it looks pretty awesome Okay, so we stopped by the helmet shop. It's a bunch of old LA choppers here. I have to show you guys outside. This place is insane. I know I say I say it like that all the time, but just just look at this really quick. Gets even better. Look at all these bikes. All Harleys. Pans, shovels, knuckles. <laughs> In Tokyo. Isn't this crazy though? Yeah, it's kind of cool. In the middle of nowhere. We just drove through an industrial complex for like 20 minutes. That's where all the best stuff is. I know. Don't ask. So cool. What town are we in? We're like right north of Tokyo. We're in Tokyo area. But like Adam, just for example, this bike that doesn't have a tank, a fender, or a seat, yeah. that engine's about 40 grand. It's a knucklehead. It's 19, early 1940s. It's really? funny because like, the tables have turned. You know, it's like you go to an importer in America and you see all these Japanese cars and you're like sick and you come to like a... That's 40 grand in the U.S. for that engine? Yes. Who buys that? <laughs> a lot of people. Really? Those bikes right here, this black bike with, uh, and the bike with the yellow flames, those engines, depending on the year, are 10 to 15,000 a piece. So would these engines be more for someone that's using them for like an Instagram persona or would they actually ride them? Um, it's both. They run really well. They have a very unique sound. And oh, okay, so a big are those thing mags? with mag wheels. Yes, these are mags. That's it. Yeah, it's super okay. cool. I like that. Big thing with these, similar to car stuff, is like numbers matching. So the mm. cases, the engine cases, uh, a lot of them blew up back in the day. So if they're not numbers matching, they're not worth near, nearly as much. If they have an aftermarket case, they're not worth nearly as much. But if they're all original engines, they're huge money. Huh. And then all the Japanese guys want them too because. Cool American culture, you know? I really want an old Honda dirt bike. I know it's not the same thing as this. No, it's like similar okay. vibe though, yeah. Like a, like a 70s Honda dirt bike, like the ones you can ride on the road too. I don't know what they'd be called. Like an old Enduro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they look sick. It's, this is like a dream come true for me. This is so freaking cool. I bought my Japanese green motorcycle helmet. <laughs> In Japan. All right, so we just stopped by Ocean Beetle and I bought myself a Beetle helmet. They make them in-house. So freaking cool. Thank you guys. Thank you, Tyler, for recommending this spot to me. I'm super stoked. It's really neat to be able to come do things that I love in a different country. I will have to make it out here on a motorcycle one day. Twin bed, mm -hmm. AC. Keep it simple. Yeah. I want to show you something that I just discovered. You have to come with me. Steep ass stairs, per usual in a Japanese house. Nice little kitchen, right, Jim? Yep. Open this door for me. Yo, that is so convenient. I actually had to pee really bad. 
Like, who wants to walk down those stairs? Is there a light switch? Can I do it? I don't think you can. Can you do it? <laughs> so weird. Yeah. I don't do this for nobody. <laughs> all right? All right? Uh -huh. Looky here. Looky here. Wait, wait. I gotta... Boom. Swipe, brother. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> he just subscribed too. Did oh, he? there we go. I was a 60,000. Oh, oh hey. come by. Come by. Come by. Drake's on grid. Finally made it out of the neighborhood. Driving in Tokyo is stressful. Even more stressful, Jimmy is driving Adam's STI or whatever the hell it is right now. We're going to Moon Eyes. I'm by myself. This is sketchy. I don't have anybody to be like, hey, I don't know if I'd do that. But look at how sick this place is. Oh, time to go. Funny enough, we're driving to go to Moon Eyes and then Sam at Shop, but we're passing Daikoku PA where all those famous car meets are. See if I can grab a clip of it. I think we might have just went over it, but I recognize the area from when Dustin and I came here. Very industrial area. It's really neat. It's just a super pain in the ass to get to. Here's Daikoku right here. <laughs> That's so funny. Look. Daikoku Futo. Rest stop, that's all it is. Just a rest stop. It's down there, right down there. Pretty interesting. We made it. Pull into the parking lot. This is so cool. Oh, this thing is rad. All right, Jim. Culture shock. Yeah, no, some Americana true. in Japan. No, exactly. You know what the cool thing is though is, so Moon Eyes is a an American company. Yeah, I, had to do, I was about to do this whole spiel too. But I think it's, is it weird that I think it's cooler that they have like a Japanese brand as yeah, well? Like, it's just so neat. It took it, and made it cooler. They like they kind of did, yeah. dude. It's super from, from, cool. Look, they got like the moon caps on the. Okay, first off, Chevy van with moon left hot, left moon hot. caps on it. Yes. So cool. Okay. Horny. Horny. Oh, that thing is sick, dude. If I geek out, it's because this is the shit I love. So, give me a little bit of a break. You lose a shit on that one. <laughs> I know, it's so nuts. That's wild. A dually. It's probably not a Tacoma, but it's. No, it's like a taco front of something. So crazy. Wow, this thing is super cool. Jimmy, I come all the way to Japan and looks the first thing I notice. You wanna see? No, the Valvoline old school jugs, baby. Uh, see those? Uh, big Valvoline guy. <laughs> Look at how cool this is. I think I'm gonna say that a hundred times. I'm just no, gonna stop myself from saying it now. I like, I feel like we're in like, George's garage in, in Wallingford. George's garage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so freaking cool, man. Why is it cooler here? I don't know. We're going to do some B roll and then geek out over all the parts and tchotchkes that we're going to buy. I'm probably going to spend way too much money, but I don't care. It's worth it. I'm going to buy a lot of friends' gifts today. Yeah, it's a good yeah. gift day. Good gift day. Oh my God, Jimmy. There's so many tchotchkes. There's so many tchotchkes. It is tchotchkes. This is Bill. different. I'm gonna go broke so, here. So one here, funny thing. One yeah. year at SEMA, uh, they had a Moon Ice boot. They always have Moon Ice boots. So yeah. It's like a little small one, but they were giving these away, right? A little, a little antenna, antenna toppers, yeah. I walked by that sunken booth like 30 times. I had a whole bag of these. I brought <laughs> you still all have my, them? I brought all my friends home these things, yeah. <laughs> I'll just like walk up, yo, can you guy one of those? <laughs> That's <Yeah>. amazing. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm having a dude, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm this is an overload for me. I, I don't even know what I'm looking at, but like well, you have, so here's the limitation here, right? You're 
suitcase of this, just like this. Much. I brought a spare one. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. So remember, limitations. Okay. Sizing. 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 That means I could fit like 600 stickers, a couple steering wheels, maybe a helmet. Yeah, if you're lucky, maybe a trash can. <laughs> I'm like overwhelmed here, to be honest. I, I don't even know where to begin. It's just... Crazy. Middle of my B roll D53 D 350 deep corn. I love it. Yeah. Hot. Put this on your lawnmower. Put on the deer, bro. Get this thing for the deer. I could, you know what Mr. I love? Mr. Anderson would love So it. we haven't done car stuff in like two days. I can tell you're fired up right now. I love car stuff. Everyone's like, oh, when you go away, you, 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 you ever guess you could just see Dude, I was tripping. Time. We were in the city for one day. I was like, I want to go do more car stuff. I know, shit. that's wild. No, I don't get sick of it. This is no. sick. This is us. That's what we so do, baby. Fucking cool, bro. Jumped up. Look at this shit. Yeah, I think the deer would look hot when he's saying that. Lunch time, Jim. <laughs> Lunch time, baby. You ready? Lunchtime. What are you gonna get? A moon burger? <laughs> <laughs> I like those people, they were just staring at us, so we waved and then they started laughing. Oh, I thought they were stopping to say hi to us. Were they? I don't know, it looks like they're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were, I was like, oh, that's Gretel! <laughs> like, <laughs> no. It's Japan Jimmy! Uh, Jimmy.jp. None of that was recorded. No moon burgers for us, there was like over an hour wait. And Jim's trying to figure out how to put this ST50 in his checked bag. I get two free checked bags, baby, I'm only using one. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's figure out where to get lunch. Oh, I'm pissed because that those, that food smelled really good. It smelled like American food. It's, yeah, it smelled like American food, that's why. All right, let's hit the road. I have been wanting to go here since I started coming to Japan probably six years ago, at least. What a treat. It's almost, I'm almost happy I waited a bit to come here. It is, it was so cool. It's even, it's just cool to see Americana in, a, in such a different country. Got some tchotchkes, I'll go over them later. But time to get food and go to salmon shop. I don't know why I keep doing this, but getting food and going to salmon shop. <laughs> We're hangry. Since we couldn't get uh, moon eyes, I decided to get the most American ass lunch I could get at Family Mart. Ham and cheese on white bread. And lightly salted hard fried potato chips. I'm gonna do my Dustin Williams eating on the vlog. Oh, All the tummy masters. we have a special guest joining us. Jim, Jim, Jim. Tell me my Sam. Tell me my Sam. Oh, fuck. We are glizzy? Yeah, I got Dominican dog. Bro, watch this. Got a lot of clothes since I've been here. Oh, uh. What, you just went for a good old fashioned American combo? Dude, I thought I'm eating the most American ass lunch I could possibly eat. Tell me about it. Uh, <laughs> the only thing that sucks is like they always have those good like fresh sandwiches, but it'll be like something really good and an egg on it. There's always egg on it. I know. Or like olives maybe or I'm, something. Maybe I'm not feeling eggs, you know? They have, a, they have a, like an egg abundance. They just put on everything. They're feeling it though. I haven't seen any chickens. I fucking ate them. That wasn't English. I was Japanese. <laughs> I think this is the first prison bus I've ever seen in Japan. Yep, definitely a prison bus. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, heading to Samets. Either we are very lost or we're coming in the back entrance because we're basically driving on sidewalks. <laughs> oh my God, where the fuck are we? <laughs> Oh god. Japan is crazy. Tell me I have to go this way. Fuck. Oh my god, it keeps getting tighter. I feel like we're not at the right place. Um hold on. Tell me this is it. Oh my god, we made it! We fucking made it! 
I thought we were so lost. <laughs> Dude, the roads kept getting smaller. I'm like, fuck. I was sitting here, I was like, man, like, I would put an angle count on these things just to fucking drive Just around. to drive around the corners? Let's go fuck with them. You want to oh. take that? Oh, no, this is. You want to take that transmission home no, with us? This is how we know we're at same because it's a gearbox. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, that's the most true thing you've ever said. What is this? They're like, give him the strongest transmission we have because he's gonna blow it up anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, I was saying, uh, Sam has single-handedly uh, created a shortage of R154s. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Sam. Good job. Thanks, dude. This place is sick. I have no idea where we are, but inside, this is... What's up, Bogan? How you doing? Hey, so we uh, took a back way in here, and the roads kept getting tighter oh, and tighter there? and tighter. Yeah, 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 yeah. That way sucks. And, <laughs> dude, I thought it was a... I thought I was on a walking path. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. tight it was. Yeah, that back road is gnarly. <laughs> the main road's there, but they're actually demolishing all of those houses oh, are they? and stuff and building wow. a new one. This is sick. Sick, Sam. Um, just like calling real estate agents, and then they like a guy in Australia. He would not. They also make a really nice hobby one that looks like we end with the cowboys. So I'm a shop boy, right? I love. I love shop equipment. Yeah. And the first thing I said to Sam when I saw his shop was, Sam, where'd you get that air compressor? Because it is. So, a lot of people might not even know what these are. This is a screw compressor. Yeah, it's a screw, full silent. Like, listen to that, that's it. That's running. That's it, seven horsepower. And most of the noise is the, is the exterior yeah, yeah, like the rattling. Yeah, going off and stuff like that, and that's it. That's <laughs> How it. sick is that? Dude, it's so good, it has a built-in dryer and everything. It's so good. Those compressors are so expensive in America. Yeah, no, I know. It's like, unbelievable. That's like less decibels than like a, like a vacuum cleaner is louder. It's like a, it's like a, a vacuum Dyson. cleaner yeah. is louder. Yeah. Yes, it is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. We all have drift cars, so yeah. we do tires a lot. Yeah. I have my compressor right next to my tire machine. Oh. I have to put my AirPods in. Yeah. And then people walk in the garage. I don't even know they're in there because yep. I have my AirPods in yep. playing so loud. Yeah. So if you have a screw compressor, give me one because I they're need so it. Good. They're so good. So Goodbye, you. Sam at HQ. Bye. Thank you for showing us. It's a cool shop, dude. Good sunset, nice quiet neighborhood. And you said people can come here and buy merch, Sam? Yep. Look how cool this is. Sumimasen! Hi. You want something? Oh, how about a Skyline one for you? Got it. Arigato gozaimasu! No Enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you Sam. Man. No worries, guys. Goodbye, Tokyo. Just like that, we are going home. But we have the craziest month coming up, so don't think the content's gonna lack because it will not. We are gonna be on the road for roughly three-ish weeks, about a week after we get home. And we have to work on the JZX, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much as always for the support, especially the Japan videos, you guys killed it. I wanna keep this going. So if I can change anything, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys again. We will see you in a few days.